British firepower is changing the course of the war in the east of Ukraine, having a major impact on Russian forces, reports have indicated. Dramatic clips showed Ukrainian troops making full use of the M777 howitzers, developed by the UK, with one soldier describing it as, extremely precise. Ukrainian forces recently reclaimed Kherson, the key city in the south of the country, and are using the M777 in a bit to similarly reclaim land in Donetsk. Asked why the weapon was changing the course of the conflict, Sir He, a Ukrainian soldier interviewed by US-backed Radio Free Europe, was unequivocal in his agreement, explaining the key lay in the weapon's accuracy. He explained, people who work with this artillery are very effective. That's why we work smoothly, everything is as it should be. It's definitely very powerful. It's more precise, as we know from using it. The Soviet-era MSTAB doesn't even come close to this model. Strikes on personnel have been the most massive thing. One time we hit 300 men. We hit them with a string of nine shells. We hit only specific targets, we don't fire at nothing. Ukraine could finish off Vladimir Putin's invading force with Western assistance, a former military officer has claimed. President Volodymyr Zelesniki's forces anticipate a long, harsh winter of fighting, with soldiers lined up opposite Russia in trenches on the front lines. Most tactical experts believe the months ahead will see fighting slow down but one divergent commentator said Ukraine could gain the upper hand if Western nations imminently step up their assistance. Writing in The Guardian, barrister and former military intelligence officer Frank Ledwidge called on NATO to provide new arms. Mr. Lewidge, who once served in the Balkans, Iraq and Afghanistan, said that with additional firepower, Mr. Zelensky's troops could finish off Putin and Russia. He said the country is currently under-equipped, lacking the tanks, missiles and aircraft, to regain lost territory. Western nations like the US that are serious about helping to protect Ukraine, should urgently consider supplying them with these arms. A Ukrainian nursery in Bakhmut has been destroyed by Russian missile strikes, with at least two people killed. Smoke can be seen pouring from the building, which had been painted in an array of colors for the children, as huge fires burned through the roofs. Donetsk Oblast Governor Pavlo Kirilenko reported that a further 11 people had been injured by the strikes, which also hit at least three private houses in the city. Russian claims to have captured several small towns surrounding the city, which is on the eastern front line, have been questioned. In light of the attacks, as well as Russia's continued assault on energy infrastructure behind the front lines, Ukraine's Foreign Minister Dmitro Kuliba called on NATO for more advanced air defense systems. Ukraine has destroyed three military vehicles near the front line in the east, footage has shown, forcing Russian soldiers to flee for their lives. As fighting ramps up in the eastern regions following a retreat for Putin's forces from Kherson in the south, the footage shows dozens of Russian soldiers scrambling for shelter after being struck by Ukrainian anti-tank missiles. In the footage, a Russian tank traversing a battlefield near the eastern front line is struck by the Ukrainian 66th Mechanized Brigade. The brigade, which has been one of the most active in combat in the east, used anti-tank guided missiles to destroy the Russian tank. Solovyov, a close ally of President Putin and renowned Russian propagandist, suggested Moscow's authorities would seek out and silence individuals who criticized the state. The brutal threat followed Solovyov trying to justify why the Kremlin plot to seize Ukraine was progressing, so slowly, as the winter months draw in. Speaking on his radio show, Solovyov said, Here's what one man wrote, to, me, someone by the name of Viktor Rosimovsky. Maybe it's time to stop presenting lies as the truth. Stop deceiving people.